Hello everybody, my name's Jude, Jude Lennon, and I am a professional storyteller with Little Lamb Tales. Here's Lammy and Flossie, and I'm also an author. Mostly I write for children, and here are some of my children's books, including The Dragon of Allerton Oak, which is set in Calderstones Park in Liverpool. So I am delighted to be taking part in the 2021 Liverpool Year of Writing because I love writing. I love it because it means I get to use my imagination, I get to go on lots of adventures and I get to go on lots of adventures with some interesting characters. So today I thought that we would do a little bit of an activity that helps you build some muscles and get used to making the shapes that you'll need when you start creating letters, which then become words. So all you're going to need is a piece of paper and some pens, pencils or felt tips. If you need to pause the video while you get your things, that's fine. I'm just going to get mine very quickly now and then we'll begin, okay? So here we go, I've got my piece of paper. It's quite a big piece of paper, isn't it? And I've got my felt tips. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do this is all about taking our pen for a walk and the first thing we're going to have a go at doing is some wiggly lines because these shapes happen quite a lot when we're writing letters so here we go so all you're going to do is draw some wiggly lines all the way across your paper okay and then if you want to you can go over the top in a different color so exactly the same wiggly lines all the way across your paper and as I said, this helps your muscles get ready and helps you to learn the shapes you'll need to make letters. I'm going to do one more time. Use purple. There we go. Nice wiggly line. But you don't just have to do wiggly lines. You can also do zigzags because we have lots of letters that have got straight lines in them. So let's try some zigzags. Can you do some nice zigzags all the way across your paper? Brilliant. Fantastic. And then, of course, you can use a different colour to go over the top. There we go. Fantastic. This is a really good exercise to get used to writing shapes. And then the last shape we're going to have a go at doing are some loops. OK, here we go. Let's do some loops. This is quite a nice one to do. Feel that shape in your fingers. And then, again, you can use a different colour to do the pattern again and these are all really good for helping you to get used to the shapes that you'll need to create letters okay now the last thing we're going to do just very quickly before you go is this is a lovely way to finish your exercise about taking your pen for a walk just get your pen and literally just let it go all over the paper it doesn't matter where little tiny loops big loops whatever you want to there we go Woo, just let it go, fill in all those, there we go, fantastic. And then what you can do, and this would be a lovely activity to do for the rest of the day, you can use lots of different colours and you just colour in the little bits on the pattern you've made. Okay, fantastic. And that will be a very good exercise for helping you to stay inside the lines, to hold your pencil properly and to follow the shapes of the, the lines like you do when you're forming letters. I'll do one more and then I'll leave you to it to do yours. And if you want to share any of your zigzags or your curlies or your wiggly lines or your lovely pattern, we'd love to see them. Just use the hashtag Liverpool Writes when you add them onto Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. That would be lovely. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you've had fun. I'm going to spend some more time colouring in my shapes now. See you soon, children. Take care.